Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Motoro and we are here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Audio V gaming content and tutorials. So with that all said, we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your LSPDFR mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Now this video is all about LSPDFR and it was requested by you guys. So the most important thing that you must do, okay, first is that you must have a clean GTA V folder. So as you guys can see, that my Grand Theft Auto V folder is completely clean. There's no mods inside my folder. So make sure you have a complete clean folder before you do anything. Once you have completed that process, then we can get started. So all you gotta do is go to my description and you will see the LSPDFR mod link inside my description. Click on that link and that link will redirect you to this website over here. Now on this website there's like a lot of things in here that you can add but these are called plugins okay. But with this tutorial I'm only doing a tutorial on how to install LSPDFR. I will do another tutorial on how to install plugins on another video. So we can get started right now. All you guys gotta do, once you are on this website, then all you gotta do is go to your LSPDFR, right over here. And then next, all you got to do is go to your LSPD first response. And then now you'll get this alert over here. Sometimes you may, sometimes you may not. It just only says um, your antivirus and etc. So you, yeah, if you do get alerts, that means you must turn your antivirus off, okay? So I've already got mine off, so I am already clear. So all you gotta do, okay, is just scroll down and then you'll see download this file. Click on download this file. Now over here, you can read the terms of condition if you want to. It's totally up to you. But all you gotta do is scroll down to the bottom and you'll see agree and download. Click on agree and download. And then all you got to do now next is that there's two options. You can do it manual or you can do it by setup.exe. But with this tutorial, we are going to do setup.exe. So download setup.exe. But in this case, I have already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it. Once you have downloaded, then we can get started. Once you guys have completed that process, then we can get started. Now, once you have downloaded the LSPDFR, it will come up as this EXE, and that's it. All you gotta do now, next, is right click and run as administrator. Now, next thing you gotta do, guys, is you got to go to English, okay? It depends on what kind of language um, you prefer. You can go to France's or whatever, okay? But I'm going to leave it as English. Press OK. Now, press Next. And then you can read all of the terms of conditions if you want to. Once you have finished reading, then click on I agree. And then click on Next. And then over here it says LSPDFR will only work if it's installed in the same folder as your GTA V installation. So all you gotta do is you gotta find your game. See this game? You gotta find your game. So go to browse and my game is in my D drive. Uh, games and there you go. Grab the audio V and then there goes my game right there. So you gotta find your game. I have already found my game and press OK. 
make sure you find your game okay um my game is in my d drive but yours might be in your c drive or somewhere else okay so you must find your game once you have found your game then click on install this will take a few seconds it all depends on your pc performance and click on finish now this will pop up okay this application will pop up the next thing you gotta do is click on next on your right hand corner down the bottom now this will pop up too it will say over here please accept the rage plugin hook license now to get the license all you gotta do is click on show license over here now wait for a few seconds now this is your license all you gotta do now is press accept and then there you go it's complete this next step okay all you gotta do is click on do it for me okay so click on do it for me and then you have completed that now your alice pdfr has been installed successfully press ok now you have completely finished installing your alice pdfr go to your grand theft audio v game hover over it right click and open file location now as you guys can see i have mods in my folder now because before it was completely clean so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to install our requirements so like always make sure you have the latest script hook v open up your script hook v extract folder go to your bin folder and then now select your din put 8.dll and script hook v.dll drag both files inside your grand theft auto v main folder now go to your trainer v extract folder open up your trainer v extract folder and select your trainer v.asi and .ini drag both files inside your grand theft auto v main folder and next you can install your menu if you want to it's totally up to you now all you guys gotta do is open up your scripthogv.net extract folder and select your scripthogv.net.asi.ini and scripthogv.net2.dll and 2.xml drag those four files inside your grand theft auto v main folder and then that's all you guys gotta do now the next thing you gotta do guys is we have to go to our rage hook plugin and we gotta set up our rage hook plugin right click and run as administrator now all you gotta do next okay wait for a few seconds and then there we go the rage is running even so yep all you guys gotta do now next is press ok and then just wait for a few seconds now the next thing you gotta do is press yes and now what is this is going to do is going to make up a backup file for you so this will take a few seconds it may take two minutes like always it all depends on your pc performance now all you guys gotta do now is set up your rage plugin now console key is like your main key to open up your menu so make sure you remember that key f4 is your main key now plugins it says over here load these plugins on startup so go to don't load plugins on startup okay because if you load plugins on startup sometimes it lags your game sometimes it crashes your game so so make sure you click on don't load any plugins on startup now go to advanced settings you can enable these if you want to but i'm going to leave as default go to game settings now over here you want to back up your files because sometimes when grand theft auto v has an update and then sometimes you can't play the game so make sure you back up your files because you will need to do that so go to revert game version 
and then click on save and launch and then press on OK there we go and now you'll be going into the game okay remember guys when you go in the game do not go to your Grand Theft Auto V game go to your Rage plug and hook okay that's how you start up the game so what I'm gonna do guys okay um, this will take a few minutes okay so I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you guys once we get in the game and now we are back in the game so we are in the game and my game did not crash so we are going to start uh, with our LSPDFR so all you guys got to do okay remember your console key is F4 so click on F4 and now that's your console key that's your menu okay now all you guys got to do is type in reload or plugins and then press enter wait for a few seconds and now it will load all of your plugins that you have inside your LSPDFR so just wait for a few seconds until you see fragment frozen you'll see fragment frozen and there you go fragment is now frozen and press F4 now as you guys can see we have like got police um, stuff out here okay police cars and etc uh, so yeah we got police uh, over here police stations and etc so yes so all you guys gotta do okay is go to the police station over here run there and then go inside your locket over here and then now uh, hover over here press E and then now to set up your duty click on go on duty and then wait for a few seconds then press OK and then you will be creating your own online character don't worry this won't go online okay it's just gonna um, make an online character for you you can choose a fake uh, like a male or a female but I'm gonna choose female because I like females and then uh, you can you know customize your your pet if you want to but I'm going to leave it as default because this is for a tutorial video once you have finished um, like printing your character or doing up your character then click on save and continue you can change the name if you want to but I'm going to leave it as default and then now click on enter to use your character now as you guys can see I've got an online character now so all you guys gotta do okay go to police locker and now you can use your current um, outfit or you can use a police outfit it's totally up to you you can change the uh, badges if you want to uh, you can change the badges too guys so it's up to you okay and then confirm then you can go to the police garage and now you can go and uh, choose which vehicle you want you can have LSPDFR or this one or this FIB vehicle just choose which vehicle you want I'm going to leave it as default as this one you can customize your vehicle if you want to it's totally up to you but I'm going to leave everything as default so once you have finished customizing your car just only click on select and continue and you will teleport into your car outside and then there you go and now you're on duty now all you gotta do okay is just wait for our response or you can um, do anything like just say for an example go in first person and then now uh, you can write down the number plate of this car uh, the number plate is 21G PG 132 press Q uh, wait 
21G PG. Um, 21G PG 132. We're gonna force on two. So, as you, guys, as you guys can see, there's a burglary happening, so you must go over there. But I'm just going to leave everything okay, guys. Um, yeah, everything does work okay. Over here. N oh, yeah, it's in there here. It's inside the barber shop. But yeah, guys, that's how you install LSPDFR. And we are back again, guys. So I hope you did enjoy that mod. That mod is an awesome mod. Don't forget, guys. You must create a shortcut for your Rage plug and hook because that's the only way to get into the game. Remember, do not go in the game inside here because you will only crash your game. Make sure you go inside the game inside here. That's the only way, okay, guys? So I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. Don't forget, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you. And just remember that this tutorial is only on how to install the LSPDFR mod. There is still more mods to be added, okay? And I will do another video on how to install your plugins, okay? So you need more plugins to add into your mod to get more fun stuff inside the game too. So with that all said guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you guys did, then smash that like button and subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.